Hello and welcome to this video where we'll be talking about Elas Alert 2 and how to set it up to send email alerts for free from the data in your Elasticsearch cluster. As you may know, Elasticsearch is a powerful tool for indexing, uh, searching and analyzing large amounts of data. And Elas Alert 2 is an open source alerting system that integrates with Elasticsearch. It queries data in real time from Elasticsearch and based on a rule, uh, if the data uh, matches a certain pattern, the rule can send or trigger an alert that can send an email or a text message or a message to a Discord server or any other type that Elasticsearch 2 uh, supports. Just an important note, make sure you are on the page of Elasticsearch 2, not Elasticsearch, the first one, because that one is no longer supported. So just make sure you are on Elasticsearch 2 and you should be good. And everything I'm going to be doing in this tutorial is from the official documentation right here. So I'm going to go to running Elast Alert 2 and I'm going to select, I'm going to run it as a Python package. And the requirements are right here. It's very important to install all of these requirements on the system you are uh, going to use to run Elast Alert 2. Make sure you have Python 3.11. This is important and all these packages have to be installed before you start installing Elasticsearch 2. And I ran the pip install Elasticsearch 2 command. Mine will be already installed. It will say already satisfied. And I can check with pip show Elasticsearch 2. And it will show you that Elasticsearch 2 is installed and it requires all of these uh, packages. After installation, I'm going to start configuring it. I'm going to create a uh, directory. Um, actually, I created the directory already. And inside this directory here, I'm going to put the config file and the custom rules that I need to uh, create. So nano config.yaml. And inside of this file, I'm going to show you the configurations. They have the rules folder, it is the custom rules. Actually, I'm going to create this directory and call it custom rules. And I'll show you inside of this directory, I have the configuration uh, file, the directory where I'm going, I'm going to be creating all my rules. And I have the CA cert that will let me connect with the Elasticsearch cluster. So I'm gonna go back to the configuration file. So we'll, we'll um, specify the rules uh, folder. It will run every one minute and you can specify whatever schedule you need. The buffer time, it will look at the last 15 minutes, for example. Elasticsearch host, you put the IP address of your Elasticsearch host and if you have multiple hosts, and for high availability purposes, you can use um, es underscore hosts with an S and you make it as a list like that. Uh, but I'm going to stick with just the es host for now. I'm going to specify the es port, um, the username and password for simplicity reasons. And I'm going to use the SSL certs. If you have a client cert and a client key, you can use those. But in my case, I have a CA cert. So I'm going to be using this option here, CA certs. And why mine will be uh, Elasticsearch-CA.PEM. And I'm not going to use those. Write back index and alias. It will create an index in Elasticsearch just to track the status of Elasticalert, uh, the rules and the timing of everything, how it's uh, working. Alert time limit, two days. And I'm going to be using uh, smtp.gmail.com as an SMTP host and from this random email address. 
After finishing with the config.yaml file, we get to this step, setting up Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch 2 saves information and metadata about the queries it sends to Elasticsearch and indexes inside of Elasticsearch. So to set up those indexes, we have to run this command, Elasticsearch create index. And it will ask us for the Elasticsearch host, minus 192.168.101, the port, 9200, use SSL, true, verify, TLS certificate, true, interruptional basic auth username. I'm going to use the Elastic user and the password. This is optional search URL prefix. I'm just going to skip it. New index name. This is the default one, Elast Alert status. So I'm just going to say uh, accept the default name of existing index to copy. Nothing. Hmm. And I got some errors. SSL error. Certificate verify failed. I'm going to go through the process again without verifying my certificate because it's a self-signed certificate. A search host, uh, the port 9200, use SSL is true, verify it is false. Elastic user, my password, enter default index name, name of existing index to copy, nothing. Index already exists, skipping index creations. And because I have it set up uh, from before, I'm going to show you on my, my cluster here that it will create these indexes, a last alert. After we created the indices inside of Elasticsearch, now we're ready to create a rule. The rule defines the query to perform, parameters, and what triggers a match. We have a we have an example here. Uh, we specify the last search host and the port, but we have them configured in the config.yaml file, so we don't have to specify those inside the rule. We specify the name of the rule, the type, the index, and the options here, the query, and what type of alert you're going to send. I'm going to create a, so first I'm in this directory here. I have the config.yaml that connects us to Elasticsearch. I have the CA certificate and I have directory where I'm going to create my rules. So I'm just going to call it a test rule here. I'm going to copy paste my rule, the settings. So I'm specifying the index name or the alias. The type is a frequency, that means if I have this much events in the last four hours, and you can specify hours or days or minutes or um, weeks. If I have 15 events within the last four hours, and I have an event action that is equal to deny, I'm going to send an email alert to this email address and I'm specifying the SMTP host and port and an authentication file. I'll show you the authentication file, what's inside of there. So I'm going to save this rule here and my authentication file is also inside the custom rules and I'm going to show you um, what that has. It's a very simple file, just a user, username and password. Uh, in this format, just user, my email, it's a temporary Gmail account, and this password, it's an app password. Uh, you go to the Gmail settings, and you create an, an app password uh, for third-party applications just to be able to send emails to this, uh, to this address here. So I'm going to be deleting this password right after the demo. So now we created the rule. We specified the SMTP settings. 
I'm going to be testing the rule here. And to test the rule, we have this uh, tool right here, Elastalert test rule, uh, just to make sure the config file loads uh, successfully. So you run this command and specify the rule um, YAML file. And mine will be, I pressed enter by mistake. Mine will be here, test rule, and you can also specify the config file, which is config.yaml. And you can see it running here, querying Elasticsearch and trying to match the data, but it is a silenced rule. That means it's not going to actually send a notification. It's just a test. And you can see here the status, um, the start time and end time of the, the test and how many matches and how many hits. And if we look at Kibana here, I have a filter here that says event action is deny over the last four hours. So exactly like my, um, my rule and I refresh, I have about 6,700 hits and you can see here 6,792 hits, which is a very close number. It just depends on the timing of what is this looking at and what this is looking at. And to run elast alert, I'm going to use this command python m elast alert dot elast alert verbose and you specify the rule. Uh, I have it here. I'm just specifying that it is python 3.11 and this is my test rule. I'm going to press enter and it's going to load the rule and it will start querying Elasticsearch and trying to match whatever filters I have. So I have 22 matches, one alert sent. And if I can, if I check my uh, Gmail here, I have an alert sent. And it is just an event in um, the JSON format, an Elasticsearch event in JSON format. And he, here I can make sure it is, it matches because event action is denied it's exactly as my query. And with, this is, uh, this will keep running. You can run it as a system service, um, to start automatically every time you restart your system. Uh, there will be a lot of troubleshooting when you set up a last alert too. Um, but hopefully this video was. Uh, helpful in showing you the main components of setting it up, setting up the config file and then setting up a rule and how to start it to receive notifications and email alerts for free from your Elasticsearch uh, cluster. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.